Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I have a Bible journaling process for you in my Subject to Change album. I am using the Citrus Twist Life Crafted album to go through this project this month and I am loving it. So I am working on day seven in the Subject to Change devotional. If you have missed any of these videos, I'll try and link some up in the eye and some below. I am trying to do as many process videos as I can. I know you guys have been loving them and I'll have a flip through soon. So I'm going through the things that I knew I wanted to use for day seven. There is the flashcard with the word Dustin with one of the verses from this day. There's also a journaling card that had the verse Deuteronomy 31.6. That is one of the key verses for day seven, so I wanted to use that as well. But I also wanted some space for journaling. So you see me shift through the recipe cards. That was a coordinating add-on for this month. And I'm going to be doing my journaling there. I'll be creating a flip up. That way I have both the verse and my journaling here on this recipe card. So I am going to be first pulling out the stamp set. Um, this is the stamp set that came with the kit and there are some little uh, phrases on there and one of them is my plans and I also want to use the ones, the one that says subject to change. Um, in this devotional in day seven, we talk about what Gideon's plans may have been and what God's plans were for him, which was to be thrusted into the spotlight. So I wanted to make a comparison, my plans, you know, thinking about Gideon and his plans and how they are subject to change to God's plans in my life. So you may have noticed that I do have a sticky note that is on day seven here in the devotional. So I wrote out some notes that I wanted to include. So it's on that sticky note. So that is actually what I placed um, or what I journaled out in that recipe card. And now I'm using some of the tile alphas to write out a lesson that Gideon um, learned from this situation. And so Judy says that Gideon knows that God doesn't abandon his people. And I wanted to um, write that out with the Tau Alphas. I put God does not abandon us. Okay, so finishing that, now I'm going to work on how I want to put everything together on this page. So I kept a lot of this in so you can see kind of my thought process. I knew I wanted to build lots of layers behind this flip up, but I didn't want to adhere anything down until I knew where everything would go. So I'm using a tea bag that I wanted to put towards the back. Um, also, I have a little bit of scrap um, sewed paper that my friend Angela sent me in some hats. Happy mail. I wanted to use this flashcard Dustin, but as I'm layering everything on the page, I'm seeing that it's a little bit too much. It's kind of overpowering the page. So you're going to see how I kind of move some of those things to be able to include everything, but also um, have some space. So the Dustin card, flashcard, I'm actually going to move that to the back of my flip up. So there is an extra space that I can use. So I glue that to the back and um, I did that flip up motion to make sure that it is glued not right side up. And now I'm going to try and find what I'm going to use for the hinge. So I had pulled out some washi, I pulled out a plaid, a floral black and white washi, and a washi from my my shop from my, Crowned by Jesus. And I end up going with this floral one because the black and white florals really match beautifully with the florals from this kit. So I add a little bit there and then there is a hinge effect that I have. And then I see that the top card is a little bare, so I want to use a B. I don't settle on that one, I end up settling on another one. And then now I'm trying to find out how I'm going to create a tab to flip that up. So I set that aside, I pull some of the faux washi strips, and then I'm gonna go digging for one more element, um, just going through my stash, seeing what I have that can add to this page. Okay, so I knew I wanted to add this piece to the bottom, so I go ahead and adhere my journaling card to that. And so now I'm just rearranging everything at the top. The little ticket that I have over to the right, we got a freebie stamp um, with for those of us that shop during the pre-sale. And I stamped that out on some green and yellow polka dot paper that was part of the coordinating paper. And I made tons of those little tickets just for this to tuck into there. 
So I add some of that faux washi as a little tab on the corner of this journaling card. And then I'm gonna be using this little um, die cut. And then I'm just gonna use my Tim Holtz attacher, attach that on, and that's just gonna make a cute little flip up there. I'm gonna layer this label under here. This is one of the green coordinating labels. And this is gonna um, serve as a place hold for my date stamp. I love using these labels for Bible references, date stamps, things like that. You guys know that. So I go ahead and adhere that because I knew that was something that was for sure gonna go there. Now I am looking for my date stamp and changing the date so I can add the date there. Um, and as I Again, layer everything just to make sure that's where I want everything. I'm loving how this turns out. So I then try to adhere the bottom of that journaling card, leaving space at the top. That way I can um, still work with the top as I'm adding things in the back of there. So you can half adhere things to your page to re leave room for you to fill in those gaps. Um, or it could be at the bottom or towards the side. And this is just the way that I like to do it, just adhering little by little as I start committing to certain things on my page. So I'm gonna grab the glue and now I'm going to add glue to half of this tea bag. I love this glue, the Coquina glue. I can add this below if you guys want. Um, it's really strong. I use it to journal, wrap journals, wrap Bibles, and um, I'm out of my adhesive, my favorite adhesive, so I've been using this a lot lately. So now I add that tab, and this is gonna be the perfect place set, or place for me to add my number seven. These numbers come from the coordinating digitals if you were wondering and now i know that i want everything there so i'm going to go ahead and add some glue and adhere that down and now i'm just folding and bending this just a little bit to make sure it doesn't warp under um, that adhesive i look at some other items that i may add and now i'm going to go and search for that b that i wanted I add that B towards the top of that corner there in Destin, and it kind of just frames that, um, it kind of just frames that flashcard there. I take one last look at my project. I love it, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my album. If you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit the like button, the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. God bless, bye.